Raise your hand if you love to be in the kitchen and you love to cook. I'm not raising my hand. Not raising my hand. If you've been around here for any length of time, you have heard me say multiple times that I don't like being in the kitchen and I don't like cooking, y'all. Never have. Even though I don't like being in the kitchen and I kind of try to do everything I can to avoid being in the kitchen, I am going to share with y'all one appliance that I absolutely do love in the kitchen and I use it probably four days a week. So, can anyone guess what it is? I think if you've been around here, you probably know what it is, right? Okay. So, first off, let me take a minute to introduce myself. In case you are new here, my name is Ashley. I am a stay-at-home mama, homeschooling mama, to multiple kids. Um, we also are a family that is very passionate about adoption. We have brought in two little girls into our family through international adoption, and that is honestly how this uh, YouTube channel kind of kind of got started. We wanted to share their journey as a source of encouragement to uh, hopefully help, help other families make the decision to pursue adoption. We share a lot about just kind of our day-to-day -day lives. Um, while I will say that our family is not an ordinary average American family and the reason for that is because we have chosen special needs international adoption and we live um, differently but although we're not ordinary I do believe that we are a very simple family um, I truly strive to just keep things simple in our lives a simple schedule a simple method of homeschooling a simple method in just looking at how we want to intentionally walk out our lives here on earth as a way to bring glory to Christ. And so that is honestly who we are in kind of a nutshell. And, um, and so I like to share those things with you all. Now, I know most of you come here because you want to see our precious little girls that we adopted, Mika Ella and Isabel. Um, and we're actually in the process of adopting another little girl from China. Um, and we do like to share their journeys here, um, again, as a source of encouragement because we want others to see that we are a simple, ordinary family. We're not any more special than anyone else, but we want to just share our lives and our journeys so that people can say, hey, if the Feltz family can do that, I can do that. Um, and so that's what you're going to see here. But of course, every vlog, I can upload two videos every single week, um, 12 months a year about just our little girls or just about adoption. So for that reason, I share about other things, uh, of which brings us to today's topic. Let's go back to Ashley hates to cook, Ashley hates to be in the kitchen, but I do have one appliance that I absolutely love in the kitchen, and that appliance is the crock pot. The crock pot. I love it. I love it. And let me tell you why I love it. And then I'm going to share with you some of our favorite recipes that we have eaten this past week. And I thought that maybe you might want to add them to your meal planning regimen as well. I mean, I feel like it's just kind of a no brainer and why the crock pot is so amazing. I love waking up in the morning and just being able to dump, dump, throw things into a crock pot, set it on low, put the lid on it and forget about it for eight hours until it's supper time. Um, um, for me, it just takes a load off of my mind knowing that that one thing that I don't necessarily love doing at the end of a day, which is being in a kitchen, I don't really have to worry about that because I've got supper cooked in the crock pot. Um, and y'all, it's like fall season. And so soups and stews and all of that. I mean, this is a perfect time of year to bring your crock pot out. So if, you, if you're not a crock pot person and you haven't utilized your crock pot a whole ton, excuse me, I just heard my phone, um, I would encourage you to pull that out. Maybe try some of the recipes that I'm sharing with you today or just get on the internet, get on YouTube and find some new recipes to try and see if number one, it doesn't make your life simpler and number two, it changes up what your meal plan is because I'm sure y'all are like me, like we kind of eat the same thing on rotation every two weeks. And so I have really been experimenting with new crock pot recipes, 
but they're very simple recipes. Like this is not something where you're gonna have to go out to a specialty grocery store to find these ingredients. I'm not about that either. I want to be able to run down to my local Walmart, maybe even the Dollar General, and be able to get these ingredients to cook some really yummy meals for my family. So, let's get to the crock pot recipes, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> Okay guys, first up we have Salisbury hamburger steak. It all goes straight into your crock pot and it's amazing. It's one of Stan's favorites and as you saw Mika Ella's big smile on her face, she loved it too. So the ingredients are very simple. You've got your hamburger meat, you've got your gravy mix that's in a jar, you have some beef broth, dry onion soup mix, and then some onion. You can also add mushrooms as well a um, tip for you to keep things as simple as possible. Go ahead and buy the frozen chopped vegetables such as the onion, bell pepper, and celery mix. That way it just saves you a little bit of time on having to chop all of those vegetables. So yep, so you're just gonna throw all of that into your crock pot, put the lid on it, set it on low for about eight hours, and you're gonna have a yummy meal come supper time. I paired this with some green beans and garlic bread and some rice as well, and it was a very filling and delicious meal. Next up, we have chicken tortellini soup. This was an amazing recipe that I actually just tried for the first time. My friend sent this to me because she knows I love crock pot recipes and I'm certainly glad that she sent it my way. So this is really a spinoff of chicken noodle soup in my opinion. Instead of using the egg noodles that you would use in chicken noodle soup, you're just going to use the cheese tortellini instead. And it was really delicious. It was extremely filling. Again, I just put everything into the crock pot. I even added the pasta at that point too and it cooked perfectly fine all day long. I paired it with, of course, some yummy garlic bread and it was an easy, delicious meal. For the links for all of these recipes, just check in the description box below. I will have all the links listed there for you so that you can try these crock pot recipes out for your family. and shrimp bisque y'all this is one of our family 
favorites. If there's any recipes that you're gonna try, I highly recommend that you give this one a try. This is one of those meals that is super filling. It's a great meal for the fall and winter season that's coming up. And if you're looking to have large crowds at your house, if you're inviting a bunch of company over or a family over, this is great to feed the masses, if you will. This crock pot meal is a hit among everyone. Just trust me and try it. You'll see what I mean. Um, I will give you one little hint. I always add cream of potato soup to almost everything that I cook in my crock pot. If it's soups or, um, or bisque like this, I like mine to be a little more creamy. So if you're the same way, add a can of cream of potato soup and it's just going to make it thicker, richer, and a lot more creamy. Are your bellies hungry now? Are you like, man, I wish I had those ingredients so I can make those recipes right now? I know, I know. It was all such yummy food and I love having Mika Ella help me. She loves to help, she loves to be a part of it. So that's kind of like when I pull the crock pot out, she kind of knows like, oh, I can help and I can like dump the, dump the stuff into the big pot and stir it up. So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope you saw something yummy that you wanna try. Uh, to introduce to your family maybe this coming up week or two um i would love to hear what your most favorite crock pot recipes are 
just drop them in the comments below. I read every single comment. My goal is to kind of upload crock pot recipe vlogs about once every six weeks, and hopefully that's something that y'all would like. I know for me, it kind of presses me into this idea of like trying new recipes because we don't want to eat the same thing every two weeks, right? You know, we want to kind of change it up as much as we can. And so knowing that I'm creating these vlogs for you and hopefully giving you new ideas is helping me to go out and find new recipes to try. So anyways, thank y'all for joining us. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. I appreciate all of you being here and we'll see you next time. Bye.